Hello YouTube, I'm back with a little video about the Acer Aspire Switch 10V. I purchased this recently from Curry's for £250. It's a 10.1 inch 2-in-1 Windows 10 device. It has 64GB of internal memory, around about half of which is taken up by Windows 10. Acer do offer a version of this device that comes with a 500GB hard drive stored in the dock and keyboard. However, I've not been able to find this variation in the UK. Now, I will warn you now, the mod I've done is not the cheapest route but I wanted it to look like it was bought this way, and I, I need it to be functional. Now, if you want, you could limit the cost a little by not buying a new lower case and dremeling it to death for yourself if you want. Now, I will leave links in the description to everything that you'll need as well. Now, I was previously using a NVIDIA Shield tablet, which is a great game in Android device, but soon I'll be going on a trip where I need to be, or I will be taking lots of pictures and videos, and I need something I could transfer them all to, and the Android tablet didn't really help with that. So, main reasons for buying this is that it runs Windows 10, has HDMI output, USB-C on the tablet, and USB 3 on the docking station. And unlike a lot of the other cheaper 200 to 300 pound 2 and ones it has a 1920 by 1200 IPS screen, and it is quite a nice screen as well. Now I'm using a number one Phillips screwdriver and a plastic pry tool. That's pretty much all the tools you need to disassemble and reassemble the keyboard dock. Just to warn you now, the top screws nearest the docking end on the left and right are longer screws. All the others are the same size. I'll show you later in the video the difference. Bit of me while I just uh, remove all the screws. Now this screw has a retaining clip so it doesn't come out all the way for some reason. It's a bit strange, don't know why it's there to be quite honest. This is a plastic pry tool that I use. I've used it with lots of different things. Pretty disposable, getting really cheap on eBay. Well, cheaper from lots of different places really. Now it is really easy to get this apart. Just take your time, be gentle. It still has, you know, as, as you can, you can still damage the edges if you're not careful with it. But to be honest, out of some of the devices I've ever pulled apart, this was really easy. So what I have in here is a 7mm 1TB Western Digital 2.5 inch drive. Now I had to purchase a SATA cable and the keyboard dock main board from AcerSparePart.co.uk. Again like I say I'll leave links in the description. And that was along with the under panel as well. Now the reason for the main board is that they have two versions. One with this COM port and one without. Now with this COM port that then allows you to plug in the hard drive obviously. This is a comparison of the two lower panels. Notice the older one has an additional uh, weight in there, I guess because you don't have the hard drive to help try and weigh it down a little bit, because this tablet does have a tendency to sort of tip back if you let it. Um, and there is an extra screw hole on the, the hard drive version as well. Now, I've not really been very scientific with it, but I think there is a difference in the size of these two panels. I think it's a little bit thicker on the hard drive variation. Now to stop the hard drive from moving around, I use some of the foam pad to wedge it in place. You could use anything you want to wedge it in there, really.
And to put it back together, it simply pops back together and replaces the screws. Now you do need to screw the retain screw a little bit to get it to fully close up. And here are the two different screws I mentioned earlier. So that's it guys, uh, thank you very much for watching the video if you made it all the way to the end. Hope this is helpful to some people. I did search around quite a bit when I was looking into this uh, tablet 2-in-1, whatever you want to call it, and I couldn't find anything really that explained or showed much of what actually was going on on the inside of the docking part. Um, so hopefully this will clarify a few things for some people who are hoping to maybe put in like an SSD drive or just put in some sort of drive in there. Just bear in mind though, you do need the thinner type of two and a half inch drives for this. And that's it, and thank you very much for watching the video.